What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in today's quick video, I'm going to show you something rather useful when it comes to Windows updates. As you probably know, Windows will often give you a pop-up saying you have 24 hours to update your PC or will do it for you. Of course, you can click a button to delay it or if you for some reason look away for your PC for 15 seconds, they may just restart and update your PC anyways. Now that can be incredibly annoying, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can defer updating, i.e. pause the Windows updater, for up to 35 days. While there are methods of permanently stopping Windows updates, I'm not going to cover them in this video as that can cause proper security issues on your PC. Microsoft often finds small little issues that they need to iron out in Windows updates. And if you happen to not get one, visit a dodgy website, then you may compromise your PC and security. With that being said, how exactly do we pause Windows updates so we can do them at a more convenient time up to about a month away? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Simply press start and type in update. Then look for Windows update settings and click that. Alternatively, we can reach here by pressing start, settings, and then heading across to the update and security button. Then when you see this page over here, it'll either say you have updates pending or you're up to date. If you have updates pending, it's probably a good idea to install Windows updates now before we get to pausing it. But of course, if you do have pending updates, you can still pause it. I'll go down to advanced options and scroll down to the bottom of this page as well. Then we see pause updates. Temporarily pause updates from being installed on this device for up to 35 days. When you reach the pause limit, your device will need to get new updates before you can pause again. So in here, we can click the drop down, pick a date up to 35 days away, and until that date, our PC will not even check for updates, nor download them, nor install them. If we head back a page by clicking back in the top left, you can see updates are currently paused. As soon as you click resume updates, Windows will check for updates, download any if they are available, and then immediately install them. And of course, that'll last up to 35 days. If you find out that there are no updates or you've run Windows Update, you can pause it once again. Now, of course, you should be updating your PC rather regularly, but leaving it a couple of days to weeks later shouldn't be that much of an issue unless there's a serious security issue. This video is more targeted at people running long renders, running game servers, etc, etc, off of a home Windows 10 PC. Why is that? Well, simply because if you're running processes on it that go for days at a time that you don't want to stop, then of course you're not really going to be using the PC for anything other than that specific purpose. And that means that you're going to be exposed to less security threats, so leaving your PC outdated for a short while shouldn't really make that much of an issue. The easiest way to get viruses and malware is browsing the internet, downloading files, and then opening them up, not knowing exactly where they came from and whether you can trust them. So on a PC that you're not always touching, then the security risk is a lot lower. But anyways, with all that aside, thank you all for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!